Welcome to my channel, Ken here. Today I'm comparing the Black Box HG2 hardware version by Analog Design to the plug-in version by Plugin Alliance. Let's go! I have the HD-2 by Black Box Analog Design hardware unit and the Plugin Alliance emulation of the same unit. There is a couple of differences between the plug-in version and the hardware version I'll mention in a minute. Uh, but I'm not using the advanced version of the Plugin Alliance, uh, the one that has the mid-side dual mono of the same one. Um, I'm just using the straight uh, regular version of this. There's a couple of differences between the two of them. Uh, if you notice that the uh, the knob here is a trim left right, but on the plug-in version it's an air amount. Uh, correlating with these, this air button. Also, there's a density kind of control. Uh, there's a this mix thing here is parallel processing. If you had to do that on the hardware version, you would have to set up a duplicate track without the uh, hardware on it and then blend the two of them. Uh, there's an input trim here that doesn't exist on the hardware version. They're pretty much functioning the same way with a penthode and a triode tube mode as well as a level of saturation as you can see and uh, I'm not going to test this today the low flat and high I'm just going to leave it on flat I mean it's useful if you separate you know like let's say the overheads and you just want to do the high saturation or base for low but I'm not going to do that today I have to say the plug-in is probably a little hotter the gain staging so that's why uh, it, uh, if you look at the output it's a little lower than the output on the hardware unit just to get uh, unity gain between the two of them. Right now it's just on guitars. Plug-in version here. Hardware. We'll try it on, on heavier guitars now. context of a mix. the drums.
this alt tube which adds another tube into the circuit so let's see how that sounds Okay, we'll do some synths now. comment below what you think about all this it's a funny thing about this to me where I think the hardware sounds better on the guitars the plug-in is arguably better on the drums and it's about even here on the synths to me I mean it depends it's more of a tonal balance thing than anything else do you want the warmth or do you want the brightness should you get the hardware I wouldn't give it up I love that thing but it, it works well with certain things uh, extremely well, especially guitars, whereas the thing, the plug-in is a little more versatile um, because you can use multiple of them and you can do subtle things with it and you can stack them and, and do all kinds of stuff. But yeah, that's my opinion about this. I think it's very common for hardware to be warmer and a little more three-dimensional, uh, whereas plugins are little brighter and obviously you can use lots of them if you need them whereas you only have a stereo pair for the hardware so should you pay 10 times more for the hardware well only you can answer that question let me know in the comments below what you think of this if you want more of this please let me know thanks for watching if you like this kind of content, please like, share and subscribe and until next time, take care.